So basically what the Cartman Drama Triangle talks about, it was founded by a guy named Stephen Cartman, and it involves dysfunctional relationships and social interactions. Often people play one of three roles, a victim, a rescuer, or a persecutor. And in all three of those roles, it's an ineffective and frankly all too common response to conflict. If you're the victim, you may have a low sense of confidence and self-esteem, You may feel manipulated. You may feel helpless. Blame others for your misfortune. If you're the persecutor, you don't value other people's views and integrity. So you may model and show your persecution by being judgmental, aggressive, demanding. And if you're the rescuer, then you don't necessarily value other people's capacity to help themselves. And you may be overly helpful and you may have a need to be needed And you may tend to overwhelm people in your effort to rescue. So why am I talking about the Cartman drama triangle? Because the idea to be emotionally intelligent is to be centered. Just like you don't want to be aggressive all the way to the right. You don't want to be passive all the way to the left. You want to be assertive in the middle. And in the drama triangle, what you're doing is you're refusing to be superior or inferior. If you refuse to do both, that's how you get out of the triangle. That's how you stop the drama. Because it's no more poor me. It's no more ignoring your own needs. It's no more giving in to people when it's not a good idea. So look, how do you get out of the Cartman drama triangle? You move to the center. You refuse to accept someone else's actions. You refuse to be superior or inferior. Stay in the middle recognize when you have a victim's mindset.